Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and I just want to say a massive happy 60th birthday to my uncle. Uh, we are going to see him today um, and yeah, we're going to take a cake. Well, me and my sister, the boys, we're going to take a cake. Um, I don't know if my aunt will be there or not. She said that she might not be able to make it the time that we're there. So I don't know. I'm not sure. So, um, but I'm dressed and ready. I've got my flax light on today. Um, and a little secret, I haven't washed this since I've made it. I've worn it a few times. Uh, but it doesn't smell or anything. So, yeah, that is whoa <laughs> uh so i'm gonna put my shoes on i'm gonna wear handmade socks as well um i think it's gonna be quite chilly today even though it's sunny i think it might be a bit chilly so uh yeah i'm gonna i've got a cardigan to put on as well i don't know if to take my coat i think i've got a long sleeve t-shirt on as well um which is like a purpley colour. I'm all in purples today, <laughs> um, other than my socks. <laughs> uh, but I've just got a pair of jeans on. So I'm going to just take a cardigan, I think, because I've got a long sleeve t-shirt, a jumper, and then a thin, my thin black cardigan. Um, so hopefully I will be warm enough. We shall see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just getting ready to leave. And um, yeah, I'll catch you up in a little while. <laughs> so I'm now at Casey's, um, been here quite a while, but we're just getting ready to leave, go and see David. Here's Mikey and Casey. And then it's Ollie. <laughs> Bye. <Hi. laughs> so yeah, we're just getting ready to leave. So um, I don't know how long the time slot is that we got. I don't know. I don't know. So we've got a time slot that, obviously, like I said yesterday, everything is prepared for us to be there and distance and whatever. I don't know. So we're just going to go and see what's going to happen. Happy, ba Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. So we're now here with a birthday boy. <laughs> so Uncle David is 60 today, the big 6-0 Dave. We've just had some cake and the boys are here and Casey, they've had cake as well. So we're just going to um, enjoy our time here and I will check in later. I'm now back home. Um, it was so lovely to see my uncle. Um, I haven't seen him since the last lock, like before the last lockdown. Um, I can't even remember when it was. And obviously, where he's living in a um, oh, sheltered accommodation, I'm going to call it. It's I've explained, but anyway, um, and they were very strict about who could come and see him and things like that last year so and he couldn't leave and whatnot but he's allowed to leave now because i did say to him today are you allowed to go out to the shops and things like that and he said yeah yeah i can go to the shops i'll go and get my magazine every thursday um and bits and pieces like that so he's allowed to go shopping which is really nice um and i think what's nice as well is because they're all in there it's, it, it's a block of flats basically um so they've got all got their own flat own front door so it's just like us living in a block of flats sort of thing so he's allowed to go out and obviously he knows to be safe and and all that um but i think he absolutely loved me and casey and the boys being there um and while we were sat there uh, a couple of white feathers um floated down as well um so me and my sister noticed them and we just looked at each other and um, I said to her, I didn't want to say anything in front of my uncle, um, but like, it was just nice because 
I don't know if anyone believes in it, but I sort of do. Whenever I see a white feather, I know someone's looking down on me. Um, and I just know that my nan and granddad was there. So it was just so lovely. Um, and the boys were so good. Um, Ollie kept going up to David and, and wanted him to pick him up and cuddle him. It was... Oh, it was just so lovely. Uh, Mikey wasn't sure at first, and then in the end, he just stood there and just went up and get, gave him a big hug. Um, so it was just so nice. It was really, really nice. Um, so I've just made my I've just made myself a coffee. Um, Ian's at the garage, so I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner or what time we're gonna be home. Um, also, today's Friday. And I've weighed myself today and I have put on half a pound. Um, we had a really, really bad week, but I'm drawing a line under it and it is what it is and I'm really not that fussed. Um, last week we had Domino's and then yesterday we had McDonald's. Donald. <laughs> uh, so it is what it is. Um, we've cut out so much stuff anyway and we're just gonna try and be more healthy this week and um, or a bit better this week. Um, Ian has tried to weigh himself today but the scales keep coming up with different things. Um, he got on them today and it said a two stone different from last week where there is no way <laughs> that he has lost two stone because he had dominoes um and i'm not saying that it's not impossible but um he then bought because the, the floor out in the communal hair hairway stairway is concrete so he went out there um and put the scales out there that's where it said it he was two stone lighter than he was last week then he came in here and stood on them i'm not going to say his weight he doesn't want his weight to be um mentioned or anything but obviously i'll say what he's lost um he came in here and then it said it was um similar to last week i can't actually remember what he we was facetiming and i said i can't remember what you said you was last week i have got it all wrote down um but he was really annoyed this morning because the scales wouldn't work um, and it was just all a bit like they were working but they just kept coming up with different figures and then he said like what what does Slimming World use and I looked and they're like £300 I was like we're not going to spend that on a set of scales so um, I don't know whether we just need new scales these ain't really that old um, and I've been using them and they've been fine. But I don't know whether they are broken on the heavier scale. If that makes any sense. So like the heavier the person is. They're just not working as well. Um, and they are scales that go up to 40 stone. So I did check that. Um, and that is what we... We bought them because they went up to that. Because the last time we... Um, wanted to lose weight years ago um the scales that we had i think only went up to 20 or something um and obviously ian is heavier than that i'm not gonna go into detail but um obviously we needed scales that went up higher anyway so i really don't know what we're gonna do about that i said to, i said to him maybe we can go and find somewhere where we can go and weigh ourselves like on the ones that you put money in or whatever i, d I just don't know i don't know um we'll have to wait and see what happens but yeah so um we've had a really lovely day that's all i've got to say it's been really nice um yeah we had cake <laughs> and um yeah, I didn't want to film too much while I was there because I wanted to spend the time with David and I wanted to, I didn't want that to really be too, like, I didn't want to be on my phone or on my couch. I did use my phone, but I didn't want to be on that too much. Uh, we did take quite a few photos just because obviously we haven't seen him for a while when the, and with the boys and things. So that was really nice. And he loves photos. He is a person that absolutely loves looking at photos. So I said to Casey, what we'll do is we'll get him a photo frame that's similar to this, obviously not as big because we have like a smaller one here. But we can, Casey's got like a white one up on her wall. And I said maybe we can get him one of those and put some pictures in of the boys and us um, and, and get one of those for him. So I think he'll 
like that. Um, also today I got, um, Casey is selling on her Etsy store, uh, these beautiful cups. Uh, so they are the Starbucks cups and they actually change colour when you put hot drink in them. Um, and the, they are original Star Starbucks cups. So the actual logo is original, uh, but she puts the pattern on all the way round. Um, and I did say to her, oh, can I buy one? She was like, what design do you want, blah, blah, blah. And she said, for doing my hair, you, I, I, I will give you one of these. And obviously looking after the boys and whatever. So, um, yeah, I finally got my cup today. Uh, the boys were playing with it. So, um, but she, um, she puts the sticker on and then she uses a dishwasher safe Mod Podge, which you can't even tell that there is anything on there that, is covering it so that's more um it's less likely sorry not more less likely to come off in the dishwasher or anything um and you can't even tell there's anything on it it's really really good but these are in her etsy store and it's got like the starbucks thing on the back as well like to say what it is but obviously if it's your own cup you don't need that um but yeah so if you are interested in a Starbucks cup, she also does ones that don't change colour. Um, these ones are £12, I think, and the ones that don't change colour are £10. And um, she's got some different designs up in the store. And if there is anything that you are after, then ask her, because she can always try and make something that you request. So, that's a little shout out to Casey. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to go for now. It's half seven. I don't know what time Ian's going to be home. I knitted quite a bit on this jumper last night. As you can see, I've got a bit more of the body done. Uh, but now, what I'm going to do is try and get the first sock of March socks done. Um, and then, over the weekend, try and knit a little bit more on the jumpers and so on and so forth. So, yeah. That's it. I'm going to stop rambling and I will catch you up um, tomorrow. I'm going to end this vlog here because I probably haven't got much more to say and um, I'll probably just knit and watch some telly, to be honest. Uh, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching um, and I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you've you're enjoying Vida. If you are, then let me know in the comments down below and uh, I shall see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.